go live out to Joseph right now, who's on top of the coin tower, talking about ugh, that icky air, Joseph. Yeah, it sure is, Natasha. It's like a smoke screen out here. The smoke is thick. You can barely see that visibility is limited. Now, being in the Pacific Northwest and an Oregonian or living in Washington, part of our lifestyle is being outdoors. But health advisors tell me today and for the rest of this evening, they advise getting behind a door under a roof and staying indoors. Justin Cook opted to jump on his bike today for a work meeting to help with the air pollution. But he could feel the smoke on his ride in. But I've definitely noticed that if I don't wear some kind of eye protection, it seems like there's more debris in my eyes as I ride my bike, which I haven't experienced when I've been riding, you know, for the last several months. The Department of Environmental Quality noticed a rise in particulate matter from their monitors due to wildfire smoke. Portland area has had unhealthy levels um, earlier in the summer, but from smog, not from smoke. So this is the first time this summer that we've had unhealthy from smoke. So what can we do to make sure we're setting ourselves up for success? Kirsten Aird with Oregon Health Authority has some tips. For the general population, the best advice is that everyone should stay indoors. Limit your time indoor, uh, outdoors for sure. If you do need to be outdoors, limit your activity level when you are outdoors. It's all because these teeny tiny grains called particulates. PM 2.5 is particulate matter, so it's small particles that are suspended in the air and it can carry pollution. But you know, we all know rain can't slow us down. But with smoke shrouding the city, it's better to find shelter indoors. Okay, now you're looking across the city towards the Fremont Bridge, and that's about as far as I can see from the coin tower. So that visibility has definitely been limited. Now, we do have some school districts that had postponed or suspended athletics due to the unhealthy limits and levels that we're in. I do want to also suggest that the Oregon Department of Environmental Quality has a phone app uh, that you could check early in the morning tomorrow, and you could get those updates, or you could find them at coin.com. Back to you in the studio.